All right, I have quite a display tonight. I've got uh, Phyllis here. She's uh, the philodendron battery. I named her Phyllis because she kind of reminded me of Phyllis Diller with the hair going every which way. Anyway, that's Phyllis, the philodendron battery, and uh, she's uh, she's still alive after a week, and I don't see her dropping off at all. I'll just have to pull this magnesium out right here and uh, scrape it if it starts going down. But as far as her health is concerned, her leaves are fine, and she's producing new leaves. And I gave her a little bit of sun the other day, but other than that, Phyllis is doing fine. Uh, she doesn't seem to mind this battery thing at all. And uh, I had her hooked up to my little friend Dewey here. Dewey was one of my uh, early jewel thief projects. And uh, you can see her eyes right there. That's about how bright Dewey's eyes were when I had her hooked up. And... Um, uh, anyway, this was a thing I, I tested her with for the week, and she's doing fine. But right now, I've got her hooked up to a, a SEC, and this is the Slayer um, uh, SEC Exciter, and uh, it's also running uh, a pulse motor. And uh, this is uh, Maggie right there, and Maggie's being energized by that spinning rotor down there. You can't even see it spinning. It's spinning up so fast. And I've got this hooked up to a rechargeable AA battery right there. And this is a, a 1.2 volt rechargeable battery that's hooked up to all this stuff, including um, Phyllis. And the, the exciter shoots out energy to this tower here that's running 27 LEDs in series. And then it uh, picks up across here through open space and then feeds back into the system to a supercapacitor and the supercapacitor feeds back to this motor that's uh, driving Maggie and uh, I'll show you Maggie's got bright bright eyes on right now and the voltage on this battery you can see this here is uh, about a volt and it bounces around a volt, volt and a half because of the back spikes hitting this pulse motor but uh, all of this is hot here the whole area is is electrified and I just found this very interesting that all these things can work together and they seem to be compatible and uh, this uh, this area here is hot this plant over here uh, is energized and of course over here at the pulse motor it's energized too And if I touch Maggie, Maggie's going to be energized. So I can do this with one hand here. So anyway, I thought this was a very interesting display with everything running, including the uh, plant battery. And I've got the glass of water over here, of course, too. That it. Uh, it's got the energy over here and this block of aluminum here too it's hot and of course uh, of course Phyllis uh, Phyllis's soil is is uh, electrified and uh, the plants don't like to be touched it leaves little spots on them so I've kind of gotten away from doing that it's okay to touch the soil and make this stuff go but when I touch the plant, sometimes I leave a little spot there. It's like an RF burn, like what you can get on your finger. So I'm trying not to do that with the plants because I want to keep this particular one healthy as long as I can. I had one of these plants uh, like this on my sailboat for many, many years that survived a long, long time because I, I just basically watered it once in a while and gave it just the right amount of sunlight, and it lasted for years. So I'm thinking with Phyllis here, I may have to replace that magnesium chunk in there, but if I can keep this soil um, at the correct acidity, this uh, little plant battery ought to go for a long time. That's my feeling on it. And anyway, this was the whole setup today was a combination of a whole bunch of things, a pulse motor, a sec, uh, exciter, that Slayer sec exciter, and then uh, the plant battery. Anyway, that's the latest with my experiments. Now, I'm still working a whole lot with the plant battery here. I'm really liking what I'm seeing there. And the plant is, uh, is thriving. It's doing quite well. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.